All right, guys, welcome to another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 tutorial video, because today is a tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you, yes, you, the viewer, how to get all the content for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 2 in a couple of hours. That means all the ultimate attacks, all the super attacks, all the outfits. I'm going to be teaching you how to get all of this content in one day. So before we get into the video itself, I want to urge you, go ahead and hit the video with a subscribe because this content is going to be oh so worth it. And also hit it with a like and share with your friends because I want everyone to know this information. I want you guys to get it out there so we can ha quit having players that are woefully behind. So with step one, is going to involve you doing some expert missions. Now, you're going to go to uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and the Super Saiyan Blue Goku missions. And the reason you're going to go to these missions is because they have the highest TP metal yield and they're relatively easy to do. So, I would actually recommend you do the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta mission only because it doesn't have the uh, time requirements. Whereas if you're doing the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku uh, mission you have to kill him within a set amount of time to get more time to kill him so it's a it's a little bit of a more advanced mission not too much anyone can do it but if you just want a consistent quick way of getting TP medals I highly recommend you do the expert mission I believe it's 15 with uh, Vegeta it's right over there by the school you can't miss it it's actually on the left side of the school um, in Kanton City. So after you go ahead, you have to run this mission a couple of times. You want to have a lot of TP medals. Uh, I recommend you go in there with at least 500, if not more, because it's, it's only going to take you barely 20 minutes to half an hour to get 500 TP medals off of this mission. If you don't want any more than than that. So after you do that. Of course, you're going to have to do the most simple step of uh, this tutorial and actually get the DLC. Now, they're going to give you the compatibility patch, which is going to give you some of the moves. Uh, that's on Monday. They're going to give you the first half of it. And um, if you didn't know this, they actually load you with the information for the rest of the moves, which is going to be very important to the later part of this tutorial. So... You get the you get the download. You do whatever you have to do with the download. You get the p compatibility patch or whatever, and this begins step three. So with step three, you don't want to you, you don't have to wait till Tuesday. You really don't. Uh, you already have most of the content at your fingertips, except for Vados and Champa, because they have to come out on Tuesday, and you won't have access to the unlock keys. So you go. You shut off Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, you go to your internet, and you cut off your internet. Now, you have to make sure it's cut cut off. It can't be on for this next step. And uh, you're going to want to go to your PS4's internal clock. You go to your PS4's internal clock, and you're going to want to shift it to Friday. Any Friday will do, but just to make it easy on you, you're going to want to go to uh, this week's Friday which is blah, 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 blah. yeah you're gonna want to go to march the third now you go to march the third uh you still don't cut on your internet after you've confirmed the time uh time changes you go you turn xenoverse 2 back on still don't cut your online internet connection back on uh you go to your character and you go to the tp metal shop you go into your tp metal shop and you should have a lot of the new dlc pack 2 content now of course you're going to have to run the missions uh for the moves that are connected to the missions like you go to the pq quest and you have to do those but for the moves that they store in the tp metal shop you can go here and you can go ahead and buy them and get them early before anyone else gets their hands on them also uh, after Tuesday, which again, like I said, it really doesn't matter because if you get uh, the paid DLC uh, Tuesday, it's going to add some more moves and some more clothing to the TP Mail shop for those people that have actually bought the DLC pack too. So you don't have to wait. Now again, it's a set roll every Friday. So 
if you didn't see anything you wanted this Friday, of course you're gonna go and switch. You go, you're gonna go and turn off Xenoverse 2. You're gonna go right back to your time clock settings, and you're gonna go and switch it to March the 10th. That's the next Friday, and you're gonna search for whatever items that you want, and you're gonna keep going. You're just gonna uh, keep going March the 10th, then you're gonna go to March the 17th or whatever. Uh, let me go and, and see, cause I'm. Yeah, you're going to go to uh, March the 17th, March the 24th, every single Friday. Now, actually, I don't think it's going to go beyond March the uh, 17th. I think they're just going to have enough content for like three weeks of the TP Metal Station. But after you do all this, you're going to have all the content that you want. You're going to have the ultimate moves. You're going to have the outfits. You're going to have everything that you want in one foul swoop. That's just how they update the game. They store the information when you get the compatibility patch. So go ahead and get to it. Whatever whatever items, whatever moves, I, I kid you not. This is what everyone else does that, that is in the know. This is what everyone else does to get their content early. So when you when you saw people run around with Gallic Cannon or Chaos Shot or the poison move and, and impure slash and they were running around early they didn't hack their game they just went in and they uh changed the internal uh clock for their ps4 and skipped ahead of you uh but that's that's the tutorial i want to know uh anything else that could uh make this easy because this is the easiest way for me. This is what I do. I'm teaching you my method. Of course, there might be someone else with a better method for doing this. So let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on notifications and share this video. I want everyone getting help from this tutorial so they can they can be on game. I want you guys at the top of your game. I want you with all the content early just like everyone else i want to i want everyone on an even playing field so with that i'm going to end the video follow me on twitch twitter as well and i will see you in the next xenoverse 2 video